across the ground. And that is very nicely hit by Renshaw and is going to go all the way. Of course it is. And it's whipped away well through the onside. And that's going to bring up the second boundary today. I think uh, when you watch him play cricket, you see how late he hits the ball, so, except for that one. Well, that's right, because he's hit that one early. It's <laughs> chipped up and setting himself underneath it and eventually taken. Well, I've just jinxed him there. You've jinxed him massively. Welcome to the, the <laughs> art of commentary, because that often happens. It is, certainly it is. That's Aaron Fangiso, who's taken an exceptionally good catch. In, and post a good total and, and bowl well as well. But, yeah, I suppose you just have to... Very good shot. Pass from it off. Balls and those sorts of things that... Well, advancement on this occasion. It's thick outside edge, and it's going to go all the way. Uh, now it's more of a personal preference. You, it's there to watch if you want it. And, um, if you prefer just to relax, then you also have that option. Advances on this occasion does Sam Heslett and shows that he's equally as good off the front foot as well. And once again, this time though, even better. Three boundaries in three deliveries. The third being a six. Cost South Africa. Well, it's at least going to cost them... Another six more, because the very next ball, that is called salt into the wound. 640-odd uh, runs put on, and, and the Indians were clapping every single one of them. So, uh, so that doesn't change around the world, does no, it? No, not at all. Wherever some India go, there's... Some of the best supporters you can find. There's uh, some big support. So, uh, yeah, it's been brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, that is Sam Hazlitt's 50. And he's brought that up in very quick time at that, and has played predominantly through the onside, but is now starting to really work the offside as well. They're given the freedom to pay. We just had Michael Nisa on talking ab about the fact that things are structured. Well, put your glasses down because that's gone all the way as well. We'll come back to you in a minute, Sam, because I think this is going to continue on from the way you're batting at the moment. And Torres to mid-wicket. Goes the little ramp, gets the full toss, and it's got a lot of space to work with. So much so he's going to bring up a boundary. <laughs> but it was because they came along because of this brand of the Big Bash. Goes big again, and this is even nicer. So all of a sudden, Caleb Jewell, who started off so very cautiously, doesn't look like and it's the slog sweep, standing slog sweep across the onside, and he's found the boundary so far. Well, gone big on this occasion. It's a windy day. Hand up because it's looking right in the sun, and wow. It's that guy that we we're talking about. He's very, very good with the ball in hand when he's bowling. And I tell you what, he takes a handy catch as well. Philip Quaylo. It's always gonna was it always gonna be your yeah, sport? Yeah, I think I think Craig was always gonna be the sport. Yeah. Nice it's shot a from hard you. chance, I tell you what, but it's all the way through. So it's much it'll be much appreciated when I get home. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. And without going too far ahead, because I know we're still obviously right in the middle of this game, we've got the play off the third and fourth on Saturday here. What's your thoughts in and around as here we go, the 50 has now brought, been brought up by Jewel. Caleb Jewell. So a slow start but he's really worked his way into this innings well. You'd like to develop more and more? Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, there's an opportunity down leg. So that was Caleb Jewell. He's on 53 at the moment. Is he a keeper and looks in a bit of trouble here. Dane Vilas in a bit of strife, and it looks as if it's just missed the top of the, uh, the flap of his pad. One half volley on my pads, which is nice, and then all of a sudden... There's a shout, and he's given. So Dane Vilas has recovered very well from that knock to his knee only a couple of overs ago, and quick hands behind the stumps. Mm. I think that's very, very well said, and some good tips there for any younger players, and it's uh. been given as well. So two wickets in two balls here at Harrop Park in Mackay for the National Performance Squad. Mm. And it is the two in batters too, which is disappointment for... Shamsi's up again. So much so, he's up and now he's down. I've never seen someone put so much into an appeal. And he's still going. So... And the edge is it through the field it is. And it looks like it's going to race away as well. 
well, Short on this occasion replies to my question. Thank you very much, Matthew Short. <laughs> He's decided to go through the mid-wicket area. Oh, it's very nicely hit, and it comes up and over. Short, fine, and it's going to race away. So Matthew Short now, all of a sudden, at fine leg. Cover is up. It's the full toss. It's hit straight. It's hit firmly. Bit of work to be done on the boundary, and it's not done. Well, it was short as such, and that is just a simply fantastic shot off the front foot. Samji goes fuller on this occasion. There's an opportunity, and it's taken. Zondo at long off has got the wicket, the important wicket of Matthew Short. So, Parrot Park, they a great pitch, great outfield, do the scoring. Full toss and put away, as it should be, through the mid-wicket area. So a freebie there for Josh Ingalls. Player behind the wicket on the offside. Advances on this occasion, though, and advances exceptionally well. It's gone all the way. Long on, long off, and cover all on the boundary. And that is very, very nice. That's for sure. He goes short, though. It's a stump line ball, and it's taken, is it? It is. Really good awareness. That is a fantastic catch on the boundary. We've seen some really good catches right throughout this tournament so far. None better than that from Aaron Van Giso. Field is coming off the boundary, but all a little bit too late. He gets another opportunity, and what they'll do, Tom O'Donnell will sacrifice his wicket on this occasion to ensure that Josh Ingalls remains in. Well bowled. And it's gone short for the majority of that over. David Grant does really well. Excellent running. Pushes back for two. Picks up two on the last delivery of the innings. So 50 overs done and dusted here at Harrop Park. Hits it uppishly with a little bit more force on this occasion. Does Hendricks. And after the first two, just nudged through the covers. And Reza Hendricks again, this time off the back foot, and has punched that very, very well. Which um, I'm sure he's happy about. So that one again flies over mid-wicket. Uh, it's a one-bounce four. So. so I remember that was a big shot by, uh, by Reza Hendricks. Takes Matty Short over mid-off. And that is a six. That's a big shot by Hendricks. And you've got um, Jess Jonathan and Holly Curling. And that's a chance and it's taken. Well, after looking exceptionally comfortable for his entire innings, it is a false shot, a loose shot. A little bit of doubt in the mind now. Well, only because you asked. And there's and a chance there. and it's taken. Hinchliffe once again in the action in the field. It feels like Glenn Maxwell, isn't exactly it? Exactly right. Well, he goes big on this occasion and goes all the way. There's the part-time off spin. Oh, he goes again. And has he got all of it? He hasn't. There's an opportunity. Camped underneath it and taken. Wow. Once again, a cheap, soft wicket for the National Performance Squad, purely through the decision-making of the South African batsman. Charges into Adams. And that's a brilliant shot. It's lovely. Through the offside, found the gap. Australia A nice. National Performance Squad. <laughs> Well, he's hit that superbly well. Has David Miller. And well, you've called it well. He does just that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, yeah, once again. Sky blue even. You wonder where Funny about that. I wonder where the saying comes from. <laughs> Fastballer heavy. So it'll be an interesting selection as Kazim Adams goes well over the top of mid-wicket. It's a beautiful shot off David Grant. Miller and Adams are now. And saying that he's going to go big. And there's a shout to catch it. And he might just... He's, well, he's tell you what. He has actually technically caught it, but thrown it back into the field of play because it would have gone for six if he held on to it. And yet again, another, another piece of brilliant fielding. Unbelievable. Hill the car right there will... Might just be checking the skin there. He's been diving around all day. Big appeal. And the wicket is taken. Cole Gardner strikes. Kazim Adams goes. It's 
well, almost goes. He's still there at the moment, not overly happy with the decision. Here's Sam Grimray to continue. Right arm off spin from the pavilion end. Some space given by Miller to do just that. Let his hands go through the ball. And another monstrous six here. Pressure now on young Sam Gr Grimwade. And he's going to go again. And he's going to go just as long. And there it is. Speaking of important, he's come through with the goods. And boy, has he come through with the goods at both ends. Southern end, maiden, wicket, now shifted to the pavilion end. And once again has come through with the goods for the national performance squad. A little bit more flight on this occasion. And David Miller has jumped all over it. Straight onto the roof. We run partnership with Hinchcliffe. And that's a really good cover drive by David Miller. Well, he's really finding the gaps now. Well, with a little bit of disdain. Short and pulled off the line. And it's going to be one bounce for the stand-in skipper, certainly leading from the front. Toss finds the gap. They're going to push hard, put a bit of pressure on the fielding side. They're going to come back for two, and he's got it. And really good support, too, from his teammates. He's pumped, and so he should be. That is a magnificent 100. And the man we've spoken about so much over the last little bit of phase, these last 12 months, who hasn't been in good form. Well, he's come to Australia, both in Townsville and now here in Mackay, and he's finding that form very quickly. Cut right to continue and pulls off the front foot once again. That's the confidence that both these players have in this pitch. It looked like taking the game away from South Africa, and that's the under edge that's gone through the vacant third man area. Reverse sweep, and it's gone fine. No protection, as I mentioned. And that will be a four off the first delivery from Matthew Short. So all of a sudden, South Africa now just two runs short of the win. Well, the sweep shot from Vilas. He's pushing hard. Ball in hand now. They're going to come back for the second. And that second run is also going to bring up the win for South Africa A. It's a five-wicket win by South Africa A over the National Performance Squad. A wonderful run chase, a well-timed run chase, and it was led by that man on screen there, number 10, David Miller, the stand-in captain for today. A wonderful knock, 124 not out. And ably supported there by Dane Vilas, 43 not out.